Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has won a third consecutive term in a much tighter general election uh, than anticipated. Uh, Bharatiya Janata Party looks set to fall short of a majority and is leading in the 543-seat parliament below the required 272 seats. But its coalition partners have gained additional seats. The results are a personal blow to Mr. Modi, who has always secured majority in elections as both Chief Minister of Gujarat State and India's Prime Minister, and dominated the country's politics for a decade. The verdict marks a surprising revival for the Congress Party-led India Opposition Alliance, defying earlier predictions of its decline and sharply diverging from both exit polls and pre-election surveys. More than 640 billion people voted in a marathon seven-week election held as a world record by election authorities. Nearly half of the voters were women. Many world leaders have crawled across the finishing line in their third-term elections, and Mr. Modi is no exception. Meanwhile, President Bola Tinubu has congratulated the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, for his victory in the nation's parliamentary elections. Prime Minister Modi's coalition, the National Democratic Alliance, won a majority of the parliamentary seats, paving the way for a third consecutive term, which is a rare feat, and the second term an Indian leader will retain power for a third term after Jawara Nehru, India's first Prime Minister. In a statement by the Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Ajurin Gilali, the President states that the outcome of the elections is a resounding affirmation of Prime Minister Modi's exceptional leadership of the world's largest democracy.